So you want to start making videos, but you have no idea what to buy. Well, hopefully, this video will help pick the right gear for you. Hello, my name is Joe. I'm the founder of the Burning Treehouse Film Company, and I'm here today to give you some tips and tricks for just starting out in video production. Now this is the second video in a series of videos that I've been doing that outline the step-by-step -step process for how to start making videos. If you want to check out the previous video, please check out the link below. Today's topic is going to be about film gear. What do I need to get started and how do I avoid spending a fortune on equipment? If you own a business and you want to use video as a tool for advertising, I would recommend starting out with an iPhone. It's already in your pocket. It has all the video function you need, and you don't have to spend an additional thousands of dollars on additional equipment. But if you are looking to upgrade beyond using a smartphone, it's a good idea to know your options. There are a bunch of cameras that you can find on B&H that are under the $1,000 range. There are some even within the $500 to $600 range, which is honestly what I would recommend paying for a DSLR camera. Anything below that, you're not really getting your money's worth. Another question that I get a lot is what type of video resolution should I be shooting at? Should I go for the 4K camera or am I fine with having a regular HD 1080p camera? There's been a lot of talk in previous years about 4K content, 6K content, quickly becoming the new standard of what we perceive to be your normal everyday video that you would watch on YouTube. There is an element of truth to that. You see a lot of Netflix shows, Amazon Prime shows, a lot of these streaming services all their content is in 4K. So if you're doing something that's narrative based or you're putting together a TV show or putting together even a higher production web series, then it might be good to invest in something a little bit beyond your standard 1080p DSLR camera. But if you're making videos for your business as an advertising tool, I think 1080p will be fine. However, if you get to that point where maybe you wanna spend a bit more money and you want to say upgrade to 4K cameras. You can maybe get one for $800, $900 on B&H, but chances are you're going to be spending something in the realm of $1,000 and beyond. Now we've talked about cameras. What do I recommend for lights? I happen to use GVM LED lights and they've been serving me pretty well. I believe I got them for something in the realm of $350 for a three light kit. However, if you want to go beyond that and spend a bit more money, Aperture makes very good lights that are a bit more pricey, but honestly, they're worth their money. You see them often used on film sets and used in music videos, but if you're just in your bedroom, you're making videos, I'm using LEDs right now. There's an LED here, there's an LED there, there's a couple LEDs behind me. You have options. I'd also recommend Yongnyo 360 lights. Those are these bar lights that you see behind me here. They're Bluetooth enabled, so you can hook them up to your phone and control them remotely if you want to. I got those for about $90, $95. We definitely recommend them if you're looking to get a light and not spend an arm and a leg for them. Now, in terms of sound gear, it's a good idea to have a lavalier mic. Lavaliers are those little pin-on mics that you sometimes see in interviews, but if your subject is going to be moving around a lot, then I'd recommend shotgun microphones. Shotgun mics, are those elongated microphones that you sometimes see mounted on top of a camera. If you see a boom operator on like a film set, they have a shotgun mic plugged into that long stick that you see, that is called a boom pole. The shotgun mics are really useful for getting very focused, very high quality sound. There are cheaper microphones out there that you can get for 100 to $125 and it just goes up and up and up from there. Right now I'm using a Rode NTG5 mic, which is in the realm of five to $600 to record the audio for this video. I will also leave a link in the description below for that. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of the products that I have said today. These are just things that I use on the day to day and can recommend based on my own experience with them. And now we can move on to the next segment of buying equipment, which is tripods. Now tripods are often the piece of gear that people think about last. You figure you spent all this money on a camera, you spent all this money on a microphone, you spent all this money on lights. Very often people forget tripods and they often realize that they forgot the tripod when they get ready to record and they have to prop their camera up on several books or on whatever desk you have available and then the camera just kind of stays there. You can't really do anything with it. It is a good idea to have a tripod that way you have 
the option to move around if you so choose. Now you can pick a cheap tripod up at something like Target or Walmart or any of these major stores. Anything between $20 and $50 I would say is fair for a beginner's tripod. That will just assure that you have a place to put the camera, it's not going to fall over, you're not going to knock it over somewhere, you have a bit more room to play around with different camera angles if you so choose. However, if you're looking to spend a bit more than that, there are more professional brands that I use personally in my day-to-day -day videography life. I happen to use a Benro tripod, which is definitely a bigger tripod built for bigger cameras. I paid something in the realm of like $250 for that. Expect to pay around that for a tripod, if not more. I've seen tripods that are in the realm of like $400 to $500. It's very important to think about the gear that you're going to get ahead of time, to know exactly how much that's going to cost you, and videos like this are here to help inform those decisions. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next video.